We will now perform a blood type. The first step is to drop your typing reagents. One drop of anti-A. One drop of anti-B. I'll do the A comma B. And A comma B. The next step is to make your cell suspension from your patient sample. So you take your EDTA sample. With a pipette, go down and you get red cells and you mix it in 0.9% saline to a 3 to 5% cell suspension. Once that is made, you add one drop of the cell suspe suspension to the reagents in the test tubes. And you add one drop to your auto control. The next step is to add two drops of your patient's serum for, to your reverse typing test tube. This is to confirm what you get for your blood type. You add two drops to each back type tube. You then add your reagent A and B cells. You add one drop of A1 cells and then one drop of B cells. You mix and spin for 15 seconds in the centrifuge. After the centrifuge is completed, you remove your tubes and read, read them over, hold them over to the light and look for agglutination. <laughs> Just check. Hmm? That's good. So let me see if there's before you. You gently rock and shake your, set, your test tubes and you're looking for agglutination. There is no agglutination present in these test tubes. Therefore, they do not have the A antigen or the B antigen. This person would be type O. To confirm your type, you perform a back type or reverse typing. If you have type O blood, the naturally occurring antibodies in your sample should be anti-A and anti-B, so those cells should agglutinate. You can see the 4 plus agglutination. Now I'll just hold it so I can see the A1 on your tube. Perfect. The A1 cells, except your fingers in the way. The A1 cells are positive, the B cells are positive, and your control is negative.